Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to be learning about communicable diseases. Communicable diseases remain a major public health threat worldwide. For example, malaria, HIV and AIDS are mass killers with the population in poor countries being hit the hardest. In addition, rapidly developing microbial resistance has led to a new dimension of threat posed by infectious disease. For instance, even though tuberculostatic medicines exist and multi-drug resistant tuberculosis is treatable, millions of people still die of tuberculosis each year. What is a communicable disease? A communicable disease is one that is spread from one person to another through a variety of ways that includes contact with blood and body fluids, breathing in an airborne virus, or by being bitten by an insect. Consequently, communicable diseases are sometimes referred to as infectious or transmittable diseases. How do communicable diseases spread? How these diseases spread depends on the specific disease or infectious agent. Pathogens including bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa cause communicable diseases. Therefore, some ways in which communicable diseases are spread are by 1 contact with an infectious person such as through touch for example staphylococcus through sexual intercourse for example gonorrhea and hiv through fecal oral transmission for example hepatitis a or through droplets for example influenza and tb number two via contact with a contaminated surface or object such as through food for example salmonella and e coli through blood contact, for example, HIV and hepatitis B, or through water, for example, cholera. Number three, bites from insects or animals capable of transmitting the disease, for example, mosquito, which causes malaria and yellow fever. And number four, infectious agents traveling through the air, such as tuberculosis or measles. Symptoms of communicable diseases. Once a pathogen has entered a person's body, it often will begin replicating and the individual may begin to experience symptoms. Symptoms will vary depending on the disease. Some people will not experience any symptoms, however, they can transmit the pathogen. Some symptoms are a direct result of the pathogen damaging the body's cells, while others are due to the body's immune response to the infection. Some communicable diseases may be mild and symptoms pass after a few days, however, some can be serious and potentially life-threatening. Although, symptom severity may vary depending on a person's overall health and immune function. Pathogenesis of communicable diseases Four main types of pathogen cause infection. These include virus, bacteria, fungi, and protozoa. Viruses Viruses are tiny pathogens that contain genetic material. Unlike other pathogens, they lack the complex structure of a cell. To replicate, they must enter the cell of other living beings. Once inside, they use the cell's machinery to make copies of themselves. Bacteria Bacteria are microscopic single-cell organisms. They exist in almost every environment on Earth, including inside the human body. Many bacteria are harmless and some help the body to function. However, Bacteria can also cause infections that damage the body. Fungi Fungi are a type of organism that include yeasts, molds, and mushrooms. There are millions of different fungi. However, only around 300 cause harmful illnesses. Fungi infections can occur anywhere in the body. However, they commonly affect the skin and mucous membrane. Protozoa Protozoa are microscopic organisms that typically consist of a single cell. Some protozoa are parasitic, meaning they live on or inside another organism and use the organism's nutrients for their own survival. Parasitic protozoa can cause various diseases. How to prevent transmission of communicable diseases? People can reduce their risk of contacting or transmitting disease-causing pathogens through the following. Washing their hands thoroughly and regularly Disinfecting surfaces at home, especially doorknobs and food areas, disinfecting personal items such as phones, 
cooking meats, eggs and other foods thoroughly, practicing good hygiene when preparing and handling food, avoid eating spoiled food, receiving available vaccines, taking anti-malaria medications when traveling to where there is a malaria risk, check for ticks and other parasites. Treatments for communicable diseases Some communicable diseases cause only mild symptoms that disappear without treatment. Others cause severe symptoms or potentially life-threatening complications. Consequently, patients require different treatments depending on disease process and clinical presentation. For viral infections, vaccines are a highly effective method for preventing specific viral infections. There are several different types of vaccines. When a person receives a vaccine, they are receiving a form of the virus. The immune system responds by producing antibodies capable of killing an active form of the virus in the future. If a person already has a virus, they may require antiviral medications to keep the virus under control. For bacterial infections, bacterial infections can range from mild to life-threatening. A person who has a bacterial infection may require a course of antibiotics to help control the infection. These medications can help to kill the bacteria or slow them down so the immune system can counteract them. However, many bacteria are developing a resistance to antibiotics which pose a major health risk. Therefore, a patient should only take antibiotics on a medical recommendation. For fungal infections, a severe or chronic fungal infection may require prescription antifungal medication and in rare cases, intravenous medication. However, people can treat many mild infections such as ringworm and athlete's foot with over-the-counter tropical ointments. Common Communicable Diseases The most common viral, bacterial, fungi and protozoa diseases include coronaviruses, rhinoviruses, HIV, influenza, salmonella, E. coli, tuberculosis, ringworm and plasmodium. In summary, Communicable diseases are diseases that can spread from person to person. The pathogens that cause these diseases can spread in various ways, such as through the air, contact with contaminated substances or surfaces, or from animal and insect bites. Many communicable diseases cause mild symptoms that go away without treatment. Others require treatment to prevent them from becoming more serious. There are steps a person can take to reduce their risks of contacting and transmitting disease-causing pathogens. These include receiving available vaccines, practicing regular hand washing, and maintaining good hygiene at home. Please like this video if it was valuable, subscribe to this channel for more public health learning videos, and leave your comments below.